Where do you think you're going? Well, I am not done with you yet. Get back here. (laughs) Um, excuse me. Am I not more important than work? (laughs) Okay, okay. But your work doesn't start for another two hours. What could you possibly have to get home for so soon? Oh, to shower, huh? Um, I think I could help you in that department. (laughs) I do have a shower here, you know. We've been dating for like a month. It is actually okay for you to use it. And it might be (laughs) more fun than your shower at home. I'm just saying. Plus, a shower takes 10 minutes. What the heck do you need two whole hours for? (laughs) Oh, you want to eat. Don't you realize how much joy I would get cooking you the most healthy and delicious breakfast? Yeah, lots of joy. (laughs) I literally get high off of watching people eat the food that I make. Especially really hot people like yourself. (laughs) Come on, I make a mean pancake. I have fresh blueberries and if we want to be naughty, I even have a bag of chocolate chips. For chocolate chip pancakes, duh, it's the best. You really should go. You know... You're hurting my feelings. Yeah. Because I thought you really liked me. Yeah, but I thought you really, really liked me. (laughs) But apparently my shower isn't good enough and neither are my pancakes. (laughs) I'm hurt. I need a band-aid. Yeah, I do. It hurts right there. Thanks. Oh, you should be responsible. Well, being responsible is stupid. Prepping for meetings? Stupid. (laughs) Yes, it is. Yes, it is. (laughs) Yes, it is. And I said so, so I win. Because I always win. (laughs) Mm, Just don't go. Because I'll miss you. Yeah, but that's a whole nine hours away. It doesn't really help me now. (sighs) Maybe I could come with you to work (laughs) I could hide under your desk those cubicles are like prison cells no one would even know I was down there well except for you of course I would make sure that you knew I was down there at least every hour on the hour (laughs) but you know if you just want to go in and be responsible and boring and crap then okay bye (laughs) Mm -hmm. it is a nice fantasy (laughs) you gotta sneak me in there one of these days This is the worst part of my day. Five more minutes? Yes. (laughs) Come here. So last night. (sighs) That was something else, huh? (laughs) 
Yeah, I didn't even know my body could contort that way. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible either. <laughs> Those drinks were strong. And you know how I usually limit myself to two? It was that last half. That's what really did me in. Made me think I could do anything and bend any way. <laughs> and apparently I could. <laughs> I hope you liked it. <laughs> well, I hope it wasn't too much, too out there for you. <laughs> Suddenly you're dating a contortionist. <laughs> oh, you're okay with that, huh? <laughs> well, that's good news. Maybe I'll let myself have two and a half drinks again tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh oh. Well, I think you may be compromised. Mm. Yeah. I hate to break this to you, but my limbs seem to have grown a mind of their own because. I am actually trying to let you go. I am. <laughs> I am trying to send the message from my brain to my arms and legs to unwrap themselves from around your body and let you go. But for some reason, it seems that the wires might be crossed or something because the more I try to let you go, it seems the tighter they want to wrap all around you. I'm trying so hard, but they just keep holding on tighter <laughs> and tighter and tighter. <laughs> I am trying harder. <laughs> but they just can't seem to let you go. <laughs> mm, nope. Nope, I am sorry to inform you of this, but <laughs> I think you might be trapped forever here with me. <laughs> R.I.P. job. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> No. No, I won't let you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Damn it. <sighs> Come on, you can't stand that place anyways. Well, they treat you like garbage. You work so hard, day and night, giving them endless hours, way more effort than they pay you for, and they act like they don't even notice. Oh, trust me, they notice. They just want to see how much more they can get out of you. It's really frustrating to watch the way they treat you like you're expendable. I would never treat you that way, you know. Because I know how lucky I am to have you. I know that you are irreplaceable. One of a kind. I wish you could just work for me. I don't know. Professional kisser. <laughs> I've already told you you'd make a great professional cuddler. That is a real thing, you know. I think they call them cuddlists. <laughs> but I'd want to be your only client. Yeah. I'm bad at sharing. <laughs> Don't you think you'd be so much happier living full-time in this bed? <laughs> I could get you the prettiest little collar and tie you up to the bedpost like a puppy. <laughs> Come on, I take care of you. Take care of all your basic needs. Your leash could be long enough to reach my bathroom and shower. <laughs> Not to mention... 
I take care of your other basic needs. <laughs> and I could feed you every meal in bed, spoon fed. <laughs> Come on. Does it really sound that bad? Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> It kind of sounds like my version of heaven, actually. Having you 24-7, always ready for my love. So what you gonna do? You gonna rush home and shove a Pop-Tart down your throat and take a lonely shower? Or are you going to let me take care of you until the last possible second before you have to leave? <laughs> mm. I love getting what I want. I'll go get you a towel. Fancy some company? <laughs>